Yeah, I'm really am. Talking my shit like. I'm really am, oh God. Walk up in this shit like. Yeah, I'm really am. Talking my shit like. Really here. Uh, dropping down, tackling the guys from behind. Ooh. What is your, what do you think of that? Because you're a guy who ran through the middle and had linebackers, safeties, guys probably doing a lot of that too. You're talking about the hip drop. Hip drop, hip drop, hip drop. Hip drop. Hip drop. Hip drop. Yeah, I mean, it's... I, I, how are you going to tackle, dude? It's, it's exactly. tough to play defense it's now. Tough. It doesn't make sense. There's nah, no way they can make that people. a fucking rule, bro. Yeah, it's... There's no way. Probably a better question for you, honestly. That's real, though. I just I don't know how you would control yourself to not... I mean... Nah, it's crazy. I mean, I remember just later in my career, I would watch all my film after each season. You want to look at everything. And I'd look at 15, 20 balls over the middle. I'm like, man, if this was in the earlier part of my career, I'd probably be missing a week. Yeah. You know? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah, so probably. no fly zone. There's no place. more of that. Yeah, the guys yeah. aren't, you know, and, and it's also been farmed out where – you know, DBs aren't even going for big hits anymore. A, they don't want to get fined. B, yeah. you don't get paid for big hits. You get paid for interceptions. So everyone's trying to get these interceptions. Mm -hmm. So the game has completely changed on on that side of the ball. Yeah. When it comes to that, you know, it, so it's crazy. I don't know how you're gonna football. I mean, it's only our fault to bitch and complain. Yeah. It, it, you know what I mean? It's our <clears throat> fault as players because we go out and sue the damn owners for you know all the, the head stuff yeah yep. it, you know they're gonna sit here and they're gonna put it in our face like well you guys took this money from us mm -hmm. so we're gonna make the game safe whether you like it or no yep. yeah so that's what it is yeah. it's a lot of politics mm -hmm. a lot of politics i'm not a politic guy no, no. no. <laughs> no. 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 i don't think anybody in here is lobbying yeah no. No. i'm no. lobbying for their the guy special teams not to change this whole <laughs> XFL thing. Yeah, what do I gotta is, pay? You know what? You gotta pay my goddamn my, my money. That's right. Yeah, that's <laughs> crazy. Weird. They should put him and Pat McAfee on the board to go battle that. Yeah, that'd be wild. a great little team right there. I mean, you take away what is it? They're taking away kickoffs and no, they're, they're gonna switch they're doing the kickoffs. The thing no where way. they put it. It's like a dance. It's the XFL one where you get a ten yard cushion on the 45, 35. There's a drop zone. I, I've been want. I don't know. We'll see. It's there's gonna be a lot of kickoff return for touchdowns, but. If, all you gotta do is get ten yards. Wave. Yeah, yeah. You gotta get through. It's like a punt return now. Yeah, the so worst. It's gonna, it's gonna change. It'll change the game. It'll change the strategy on that stuff. Yeah, the value it's, I feel like will go up on on returners too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. if you have a f dangerous returner, I mean, Keyshawn, your yeah, boy Keyshawn, Keyshawn I, he Nathan. just got paid. Could be a part of it. Yeah, no, no doubt. I mean, that changes everything. Everything. Everything, because kickoffs nowadays, there's hardly any. Kickoff return. Well, the thing like. is, the new yeah. rule, I think, if they touch back, they kick it in the end zone, I think you get it to the 35 or the 40. What? Oh, shit. So they're, they're, yeah, they're, see, they're, they're trying to incentivize them not to. They're incentivizing, in the there's a kick draw, a kick area from the 20 into the goal line is where they they have to kick it. Yeah. Wow. You know, so. That's, That's crazy. crazy. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And then if it goes out of bounds, it's to the 40 or something. Damn. If you don't kick it in there, if it's before the. It's get whatever it is. There's gonna be some yeah, fucking yeah. coaches in there dialing shit up, and there's yeah. gonna, I bet you there's gonna be a lot of touchdowns. Yeah, if they go to that. Oh no huh. doubt, yes. no doubt. Which is cool. Yeah, all points. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> cool. I guess. I guess. <laughs> yeah. But like, I remember when I got in the league, we were we were running down, busting through the wedge. What? Oh we're yeah. Bubba Ventrone. He's uh, where he is. He was still with the Indy. He's uh, he's with somebody. Uh, I mean, I'm Matthew Slater's. Oh yeah. The f Nate Ebner's. These guys literally Nate have Ebner. jobs for Savage. special teams. Just just, who's the guy that just retired from the Patriots? Slater. Like, Slater. Slater. Do you have any crazier special memories playing in Oakland at the Coliseum? Hell yeah. Uh oh. Uh, first <laughs> off, I loved it. Yeah. Because I I grew up in the yeah. Bay and it was my first time playing in the Bay as a pro. Yeah. You know, when I went there, I think it was like 2000. Could have been too, my rookie year. We went there. I, I sprained my ankle first off. That was terrible. <laughs> High ankle. Oh, mm. that's the worst. The terrible. worst. Blocking. Yeah. Guy rolled up on mm. me. That's respectable. Got to move your feet. Got to move your feet. Though. Yeah. Hot feet. Uh, but my mom <laughs> wore my jersey into oh, the gosh. Oakland Good Lord. Coliseum. Oh, oh gosh. gosh. Boy, does she have some balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> rare breed. And, you know, it was it was crazy. You know, you go to Oakland games, it, it was always just you got Hell's Angels, you got Blood and Crips, you got Mexican Mafia, you got the regular lawyer that's dressed up like a wrestler guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The, the, like a the plethora of the people yeah. <laughs> at an Oakland game was so fun. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's it was nice. football. And I just remember my mom went out there and she said it like, People were like trying to give her shit. She goes, "We're from the Bay Area, and but we're patriots now." And like, then they were all cool with her, I guess. So, <laughs> oh, wow. they that's my only that. story. That's, that's rare. Awesome. That's rare. For um, sure. All right, Lazy Tony fifty nine says, "Give us the good Bill impersonation." LOL. <laughs> Look, Edelman. Every time I turn on the goddamn TV, I see you doing my impression. Just shut the. <laughs> so he, he literally said to me, <laughs> back to training camp. he goes like, look, Jules, like, I just got to put on everything. See you doing me. Fuck. Like, coach, trying to make a dollar. <laughs> you didn't pay me. Yeah. <laughs> we circled back here. Yeah. Oh, this guy, Matthew Stafford, doesn't miss ever. No. So it's like the oh, ability to feel like I have so much confidence, like, like so much confidence that he knows like where I'm going to be out of the break, but the ball is going to be in the one spot it needs to be. Like there's going to like, yeah. there, you can put a ball out there and be like, I, you leave me room for air to kind of go grab and I can make up for space where it's like, yeah. I think of like so many passes. Like I caught one from Pittsburgh this year. Like <laughs> I had like a, a, a wheel route, like, and he left. He like uh, we kept like he lets it go late. He lets it go late. He throws a bow. Mika Fitzpatrick and Wallace are both sprinting. And I'm like, I go up like it's like a slight jump. Literally, the ball like just like perfect. Like that's the big thing. Like the that spiral is his spiral. It's never tight. like it's as tight as could be every single time as a receiver. Like the ability to not have to think about tracking the ball for half the play like yeah. makes such a difference. I'm like, oh, when like I'm running, I'm like, oh shit, I like. I already know where that ball is going. Like, so it's mm -hmm. like I go, I'm going to jump, and I can see it. Like, I can go like this and be like, okay, I'm not necessarily thinking about where my feet go. I know I got to get my feet down, but I just remember getting hit. But like, kept, like that ball was so perfect, and then be like, oh, it made my job of being like, I got to get my 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 physical part yeah. so much easier because like catching it, the ball was flawless. Yeah. No, Matthew Stafford. I grew up a Lions fan, so oh, okay. Stafford. Like, I'm <laughs> I'm a firm believer. Like, when people are disrespecting me, like, oh, I never want to rank. I'm like, no, bro, Stafford what? is like that. Oh, he's and he's cold. tough and as it, hell, which is tough dope. as like, nails. He's tough as nails. Plays through yeah, injuries. Bro. He's. I think Stafford's top five. Me too. In my opinion, no question. Best thrower ever, Aaron Rodgers. In my opinion. Okay, so okay, and then bro, it's Matt bro, Stafford bro, though. Where for have me. you been? Where, where are you on not, the same? We're on the same team. Uh, so oh. that's the thing. You said oh, Lions. You yeah, said what Lions. Are, what are we you boys can get on out of here. Yeah, yeah. You said Lions. I grew up like uh, my my family was like a Steelers family. Troy Palmolo, Samoa. I'm Samoa, and so He's a Pittsburgh uh, yeah. guy. So they're yeah. like that's like a natural like team sure. everybody grab. Or the 49ers. Do they just like teams that kind of where the poly players have gone? But I was like, man, I loved like Aaron Rodgers. Like I was a cheesehead as a little kid. Like, when they won in 2011, <laughs> I remember being the only one in my family that was so happy. Beating the Steelers. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's wolf. go. Yeah, yeah, but that's why when I came here, like I never like it didn't register. Like Matthew Stafford was always playing against them until like we would be mm -hmm. in some like we were like oh uh, we'd be in the Breakfast Club and he'd be like yeah we go back to this game in uh, twenty. 16 where we played the Packers and like I threw this out route to Golden Tate or somebody well, he's talking about some other receiver and I'm just like man you were playing against the Packers all this time and I had no idea because I loved Aaron Rodgers I'm <laughs> That's out here crazy. Like, yeah it's just like me when I'm wild. watching Braun I'm like I'm my glorious king number 12 throw the ball so perfectly <laughs> <Yeah>. like thank <laughs> you like so effortlessly it's, 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 like, he can do the same the thing though yes. it, like Arms it down. absolutely blew my mind did you think you were going to get it would you feel and then just your thoughts on that uh, I think so. I mean, I definitely thought was like to, I knew it would be between me and CJ for sure. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, it's to to play quarterback in the NFL is a whole nother level. Like yeah. uh, the yeah. the ability to do it as a rookie to come in and to take that franchise to a place they yeah. hadn't been. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, Playoff well, I think, win. Yeah. I don't think anyone had them go in the playoff. He points to deep. <laughs> Wait, who did they beat? I'm not doing this podcast. Oh, slam. The Browns. Know, the Browns. Oh, shit. Yeah. Start beeping me out. They didn't just beat him. Beeping me out. That's bro. my boy screaming talky talky. He just barely left that. too, man. Yeah. Like, but also oh, yeah, I also have like a somewhat not just like a person personal vendetta. Like my brother is 0 and 16 Browns. Like where it's like, and then they let him go. It's like respectfully. Like 
every time we see you guys, like I gotta do you dirty. Like I gotta, yeah. like, I gotta do make you a so dirty. Yeah. Like, we had to make a change. <laughs> you had to, I know, hundred percent. Uh, respectfully, like I, I, I pray on the downfall. <laughs> yeah, it's, it wasn't personal. It was just right. Yeah, I took it personal. <laughs> yes, I, I made it personal. Yeah. Yeah. That Jordan yeah. quote. That's the one Jordan quote I you, love. Like that little meme stuff. Is like, I told you know, about. Yeah, so you I were cheesing right after that that Browns game, then. Oh, so hard. Like uh, that was. Unbelievable. I, well, first Jeez. I made it. Yeah, I hit a thousand yards in that game, like, and then we won. Like, yeah, and that, that so, that's where you broke the thousand. Yeah, broke a thousand. Yeah, so like, um, on one run. Yeah, set the franchise record in that in that uh, uh, like my seventy yard touchdown it catch that personal. game. I mean, he talk about under game. talk about underrated man, and like seasons it's hard to say underrated, and it's hard to say like disrespected, but like. It is. No, for sure. He doesn't get the love that he deserves. Let's put it that way. Like, yeah. from Jameis to Tom Brady to Baker, you can say what you want differently individually about each of those guys. Um, you can look back now and say that Mike Evans maybe might have made Johnny Manziel the person that he is. And I think he definitely did. Like, he's special. He's a special yeah. human being. He's a special football player. He's a great dad. He's a great yeah. husband. He's a good family person. Like, yeah. I love everything about him. I love the way he moves. I think he's the biggest legend that's ever walked the earth in my eyes. That's the way I view him. So, like, you know, just keep doing what he's doing, man. And he's going to have records that nobody's going to touch for the end of time. And then you have no choice but to respect him. And, like, right. he's going to walk across the stage. I'm going to be there when that gold jacket goes on. And, like, it is stamped. It is going to happen. 100%. So, like, prepare for it. Whatever you want to do, but you can't downplay him any longer because he is him. Yeah. For no, sure. He's, he's different, bro. I've, I've met him a few times, too. He's solid. Solid as they come, bro. He's a Dude, I mean, he's, he's so just nice, bro. bro. He's the nicest person ever. And there's one thing about Mike. Oh, like, yeah. he's never changed. Yeah. He's only gotten better. Like, when he first got to A&M, he's, he was this nice kid, but he still had this Galveston little hood side to him, you know, like <laughs> he, he did for sure. Like, of course. And he still carries that with him in a way and you see it, mm -hmm. but he's very like mature about it now and very like professional and like he, he takes it serious. I'm interested to see how it goes. I'm not like yeah. dialed into the game as much, but like I do pick my guys that like I really enjoy watching. Yeah. And I have coaches that I like from offensive schemes. Like I love what Mike McDaniels is doing. I love what mm -hmm. Shanahan does. Like, there's guys I respect and like, and that's the way I view the NFL now. Like, I like I'll watch a Raider game because you're f playing. I don't care about, you know, anything else like that. Like, I like my guys and what it is, and I'll yeah. turn on the game for that. I got to ask you this because he's a big Roger fan, and I just want to know because I feel like every quarterback, almost every quarterback I've asked is to, like, one of the guys I looked up to was Brett Favre when I grew up. Like, that's who I want to play like. And you probably say you probably say the same shit. Who do you think, who would you take, Brett Favre or Aaron Rodgers? Boom. Boom. <laughs> now, now we're talking. Yeah, let's, let's get to the nitty gritty. You know? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Brett Favre have one of the biggest, like, cannons of all. They're two of the most natural throwers of the football, like, of all time. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not even close. Rodgers is a better natural, like, flicker of the football to be able to get it to where it needs to go. Favre could do it for sure and was the guy. Favre, to me, will always be a bigger legend. I love Aaron. For me, this is like I can't even decide. Because one <laughs> shaped my whole life growing up. <laughs> and then when I get to the NFL and you turn on film and you watch what the f they were doing and what him and Devontae did, like. Different. Man, like what? A, like me and Mike had that bond in college to where you go like wink and he's so route and it's like on point and it's yeah. like an option route too that we're not even speaking about just like an unspoken bond so like oh, it's so hard from a legend perspective it's it's far from a football player perspective of like natural flicker of the ball and like like just that guy with ball placement what he did with like the back shoulder game and these routes and this shit is so like legendary from a detail standpoint yeah. Yes. He changed and it. Favre did that, but like Favre was like even more elusive than Rogers. Yeah. Like he could, he had like, 
you know, he had like this back then, like he had his Wrangler kind of, jeans on. Yeah, I mean that he was, shit. He was a dog, though. A dog. Gunslinger. He was, he was a, dog. So he was like, a true he first gunslinger. Dog. And all, okay, yeah. so it's far because I'll always ride and always choose the guy who was a yeah. dog in life who like figured it out. Yeah, and like Rogers is not, is not a dog like that. Like he's a he's a dude. He's, a dude, he's not a so. dog. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes total sense. That hurt my heart. It's like comparing <laughs> Vic and Lamar, basically. It's yeah. like going Vic versus okay, Lamar. Like, yeah. Vic's the bigger legend because of he was like well, the Lamar's first one. gonna break well, every Lamar's single one of his kill. records. Like that have stood forever. The UFC hypothet- hypothetical fight: Max versus Greg Hardy. So let me tell you this. I'm gonna tell you, Greg Hardy actually really did it. Greg, I have so much respect for Greg Hardy. How he trained, he came in, he, the adversity that he faced, he. You know, he came in and he, and he, and he did it. I'm, 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 I'm not supposed to talk about this, and I'm not going to talk about this, but I'm going to tiptoe around it. Wiggle around it, Let me yeah. just say this. I saw some footage of our boy Max Crosby, and Max can fight. <laughs> Max can fight. Max will fuck some people up. Uh, he's got the size. He's got the speed. He's got the power. And he's a mean mother when he needs to be and when, when he wants to be and when he has to lay lay the smack down and, and, and show people what's what. So let me just put it that way. We'll so, take that. That's yeah, good. We'll that's take good. that. I appreciate you. happy with that you one? Know exactly yeah, with. <laughs> 100%. You know, I heard there's some drama with the little Watt brothers. You know, what's going on with them? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> which one do you want to start with? <laughs> so, so, yeah, oldest. 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 Yeah, oldest. Yeah, oldest. Yeah, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Uh-uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So What's going uh, on? obviously I played JJ for uh seven years, eight yeah. years. I don't know I, whenever he went to Arizona. And yeah. um you know, I was always very disrespect I was a shit talker, I was very Ooh. rude, and um so with JJ it wasn't like anything like totally egregious or anything like that. It it, it got much worse with the younger brother, but with JJ <laughs> I would always be very mouthy and I would always like talk shit to him and say he's a piece of shit white guy and you're not that special and you know stop taking steroids and all these like different all these different things with him. Mental so warfare. Obviously you play somebody twice a year over and over and it's the same thing. I'm, I'm sure there's a reason why JJ Watt got turned off by like by me and my yeah. personality. Yeah. And so that that's kind of just one thing. Um, 2016. He's digging the memory. 2016, we played, we played the Steelers. We played them Thursday night football. Like Antonio Brown had that catch yeah. off his helmet in yeah. the back insane. of the end zone. Yeah. It was insane. They blew the doors off of us. And uh, it was late in the game of TJ Watt's rookie year. Oh. And this is when Matt TJ Watt plays predominantly on the right side on the left side of the defense. Now, you know, at this point in his career, or at the only point in his career, he was playing on the left tackle. And so yeah. I had him the entire game. Yeah. And TJ, you know, he was – finding his way in the league like he right. wasn't tj watt that we see now right. and so uh we're playing and he's you know still trying hard he's still doing his thing and we're losing real bad it's like the last four minutes of the game we're just throwing it over and over again and i'm pissed off because we're losing and the last thing we want to do is be in pass protection but when you know the game's They're teeing off. the rest of the day there's teeing off on yeah. you like, yeah. god damn <laughs> and uh he said something i can't remember but i'm walk i'm walking and he's like scoreboard which is a, is a if it's, that's a Watt that's thing, a by the way. They always hit you with the scoreboard. They hit you with the scoreboard. They hit you with the scoreboard. And uh, I as, I'm, I as I'm like turning around, he's hitting the scoreboard, blah, blah, blah. What you going to do now? And I'm thinking, brother, you haven't even had a pressure today. But I, I, I'm like walking. He's like, scoreboard. I go, and I turn around and I hit, I spit, and I hit him right between the eyes. Oh, oh, no. And it was, what a shot. What a shot. It was 100% intentional. Oh, no. It was meant to make him upset. It was oh, no. uh, I, bad intentions. <laughs> with the my, ultimate with disrespect. My ultimate, dude, it was, yeah. and it was bad. And, I've done it uh, before, too. I'm not going to lie. He Same goes, you're, he's like, you're, you're, uh, you're disrespectful. <laughs> like, you, you shouldn't be in the game. Like, you are a piece of shit human being. Like, really going in on me. Yeah. And that was making me feel better. I was like, Good. I'm Good. glad I did this. I'm glad I spit in another man's face. And like after Ultimate the game, disrespect. Uh, so after the bad. game, him and him and Bud Dupree, who actually ended up playing for the Titans a couple of years ago, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they were like, after the game, game's over. 
And to me, it's like games, practices, fights, all that. And there. You in the locker room, it's yeah. all good. Yeah. Obviously, spitting goes much farther than yeah, Much farther. Oh. But to me, I'm like, it's over. <laughs> hey, good game. He's like, no, fuck you. Like, we will be, Bud Dupree's like, we will be outside your bus waiting for you. We're going to beat your ass. Damn. And I was like, I'll fucking be there. I think to myself, I'm going to get my fucking ass beat. Dude. I am for <laughs> sure going to get my ass beat. So fuck. I get changed. And I'm like kind of shouting as I'm like getting ready to leave the locker room. I'm like, damn, dude, I really am going to have to go out there and stand by the buses. And dude, I sat outside the buses for like 25 minutes. You were waiting. Waiting. No shows. That's a man. Just trying to be a tough guy. And I knew I'm going to get my ass beat here. And actually, Bud Dupree and TJ Watt walked down. They looked at me and they kept walking. And I thought, thank the Lord that they didn't come because I would have had to keep this bullshit tough guy persona up for right. another hour oh, as yeah. I go to the hospital yeah. from getting curb stomped by these two guys. And so <laughs> that ends. And I truly don't think anything of it. But mm. Dupree comes on the team and we like talk about it. Like, I was like, hey man, how about that? And he's like, yeah, that was wild, right? <laughs> so yeah, it was pretty that crazy. That was wild, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And like, we like, he like, actually it's no big deal. Well, uh, I think like last year or two years ago, TJ Watt was like an option. Like, do we want to get the Watt Bros in the podcast? JJ says no. TJ says no. We're like, let's get Derek. Let's get Derek. Let's get Derek. Derek Watt. Derek Watt. That'd yeah. be fun. And Derek turns us down. And I'm like, what the fuck? These guys think they're better than us? Like, yeah. dude, just come on the show. And uh, what's funny is Derek said yes to me in, in DMs. And then his agent was like, no. So yeah. fuck those guys. Once Taylor came in the picture, is what you're saying. Right. Yeah. We actually played the Steelers in 21. And after the show, I saw, after the show, after the game, I saw Derek. And I was like, man, you can come on the podcast or what? And he just looks at me and walks away. <laughs> like, what's that. the deal with these guys, man? Like, I'm really not thinking to myself. And then Super Bowl last year, <laughs> I'm talking. I just kind of like explained the story, like in less detail, and less enthusiasm. Like I came, I didn't come to the table the like voice. you did when you were stretching rims enthusiasm. Yeah. But I was kind of just telling the story. And like yeah, Big Cat is like, you spit in his face? Like you Beautiful. can't do that. No, JJ Watt was going on PMT. Yeah, so, we, we yeah we were talking with. Part of my take, you had PFT and Big Cat and JJ Watt standing there. Yeah, but they didn't. I was like, yo, what's the deal with them? Like they're having they having a big issue with us. Like, can you, can you talk to them? Like, yeah, we'll talk to them for sure. And then, like we go to get food, and I get a text from Big Cat like you spit in his face, and I was like, oh fuck, yeah, I did. Yeah. And that's when I went and I went to see JJ, and it went to it was gonna be like this try to be funny confrontation between me and JJ. And it really just turned into me like tucking my tail between my legs and be like, yeah, that was fucked up. Like, and he's like, yeah, you shouldn't have done that. And I was like, yeah, it's my bad. I literally made a, like a video to TJ to, and I gave it to Big Cat to show TJ, like yeah. uh, to apologize. And then like, now this year, I'm, I'm actually gonna send another video to Big Cat because they have TJ on later this week and yep. I'm gonna apologize again. But so they'll probably never come on the show. I'll probably <laughs> never get a WAPO on the show. And it's, yeah. It's truly for good reason. Like it, wow, I dude. shouldn't have. I mean, imagine if I spit in your face, bro. Yeah, no. Well, would I be sitting mind. here right now? No, we'd be fighting. He spit on the same yeah. team, Steelers. Yeah, no? I had a yeah. You oh, I had a run in a Pittsburgh Steeler. Yeah, yeah. Same I spit space, on man. a Pittsburgh a Steeler. Walk up in it like, yeah, I'm really him. Talking my shit like, I'm really him. Oh God, walk up in it like. Yeah, I'm really him. Talking my shit like, I'm really him.